So we, we use the polling facilities. And if you just bear with me now, I don't have the option to poll. So this meeting isn't set up with polls enabled. Oh, it should be. Is it? That's why I gave it you. Okay. Can you see polls anywhere? No, I'm I'm, re I'm reclaiming the po the. Uh... Can you reclaim the host back and see if you can find poll, Neil. I've got it. Yeah. Neil, to ask a question. Sorry. Would you like me to ask a question? Yeah, you, you ask a question. Yeah. Of um of, of us all, and we'll see how poll polls work. And um. I mean, you'll see what happens. Neil's just typing a question in now. He'll send it and it'll come to everybody. You can group multiple questions in a poll. So at council, what we did um, um, was uh, all of the recommendations from the CSC, I grouped together in one poll uh, with then the question, do you want to uh, do agree these? Are you enjoying this meeting? Um, and you might want to add abstain to that, which was one of the things that I learned quickly in uh, in, count, in the council meeting was that I needed to add abstain. I said yes. Um, uh, people then had to respond to each of the resolutions and they were written out quite carefully. You can edit them during the meeting. It becomes quite a handful as the chair if you're both chairing the meeting and editing the resolutions. But I didn't sort of manage that and people bore with me while I did that as people. But actually, Hilary, I think you'd agree, it was very transparent, wasn't it? Very, it was very helpful. Very I'd like to know how we do that poll facility though. I don't know how to do that. That's why I'm here today, really. Um, I, know how to, I know how to respond if it's sent to me, like uh, as Neil's just sent it, I've just responded but I don't know how to actually set it. Right, well, well let's go on to the mechanics in a minute then, because we're talking about, as we talk about the, the, the principle. And then once the poll was complete, I was able to, you can show it back to the meeting. So it's very transparent. You can show them the summary uh, of what happened as a result of that poll. And actually it became clear on one topic in council, which was, um, thank you, yeah, it, it, it was, well, the discussion had gone on a, a long time. <laughs> it's fair to say we won't go into what discussion it was and why it had gone on a long time. But it was very clear that the person continuing the discussion was the only person who had that view. And, you know, by bringing it to a point and saying, well, let's find out. I, if, we, if it's clear that we're, we're divided on this and we really need to talk about it, we can talk about it. But let's find out what the position was. And it was clear that actually... There was an overwhelming majority of, uh, 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 of a particular view of what we needed to do and uh, it was kind of helpful in being able to transparently make that clear and um, the sense of personal loyalty because it was confidential which wouldn't normally be the case there was a sense in which people just respond the way they genuinely think rather than kind of looking around and i know we always want to find um you know full agreement but sometimes, just it, 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 especially in this format, having the discussion of the detail of the things, if we don't all agree on something, then we probably need to find a way to go and take it away and have a further discussion of it in a smaller group. Because what is clear is that a large group can't have a, a meaningful discussion. You need to break into uh, smaller groups. Okay. Yeah, yeah you, you can't, it just doesn't work in this in this platform. Um, so what I've used, and again, whether that's for study groups or actually for coffee time after church on Sunday, I've used the breakout room facility, which lets you divide people up into however many rooms you want. And uh, it tells you how many will be in each room. So you can let it do it. And then uh, if there is, um, uh, you, you can put people into small groups. And you can assign people to small groups. So if you've got people who are particularly passionate on a particular topic, you know, with, with the situation in council, I was planning that if we needed to, if you've got different views being expressed to say uh, on one or two different topics, to ask different groups that clearly would, would encompass all of the opinions that had been expressed in a small group to talk about it for a bit and then come back and, and see if they could work a way through it because a small group could do that on this platform whereas a large group it really 
it really really doesn't work to have a, a discussion it's good for bringing things forward saying this is what the proposal is is everyone happy with that are they not happy with it it works um, it's not good for an open discussion if it's more than six or seven people I would say is that is that helpful yeah Jim, <coughs> Jim how long does it take to set up those sort of rooms in a meeting oh a few seconds you just okay. say well, you've got to to use either the polls or the breakout rooms I believe you have to have a chargeable account I mean this is yeah, the, yeah so you've got to have the chargeable account it takes as long as it takes to so for the breakout rooms, um, if you just want to let it do it automatically, you just say open breakout rooms, it'll default to one, which is everyone in one room. You, pu you push the number up and it tells you, oh, now you've got five or six in a room. Yeah, you think that's about what I want. OK, open rooms and you can select an option to make people join. Otherwise, they get invited to join. And what I found was that you always ended up with that same selection of people left at the end who didn't accept the invitation to join. Oh, mine never said anything. <laughs> um, so uh, you can select an option so that people automatically end up in the, in the breakout group. You can also set select to do it manually, which lets you assign people by name into, the, into which breakout group you want them. You want them, yeah, which depending on what you want to achieve. Yeah, either either can be useful, but it takes a few seconds only to do. Jim, I found it I found it difficult to do that when people come in on their different devices and they haven't got their name beside their device. So I can't then work out who I need to put where. Uh, is there any way around that other than just trying to get people to put their names on their devices somehow? So I always rename them as they join, Nigel because I decided oh, okay. that getting them to rename themselves was too difficult. But if you go into the, when you're the host, if you go and click on somebody's window and the little dots in the right hand corner, one of the options is to rename them. And uh, the other, so I, if you get five people joining as iPad usually. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, yes, so, You've got desktop iPad. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, so I, names like I, iPad I, and desktop I, tend to be repeated. So I tend to read the, the the more techie people I ask to rename themselves, and the less techie people I tend to rename them for myself for a day. Right. I would like to rename myself, but I don't quite know how to do it. <laughs> so when you join, there's yeah. There's when you join there's usually a place that you can type the name in and it'll default to something it's picked up off the device whatever you've called the device right because yeah, so when i first joined a zoom meeting i joined with my phone and i put my name on then but now yeah. i use my ipad because it's better and it doesn't come up with my name for any of the groups that i belong to oh who has a who has an ipad because I've, I've joined on a phone and on a, d a windows but i don't have an ipad so oh, right Hillary has an iPad. How did you rename yours, Hillary's iPad, Hillary? That's what my iPad was called originally. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my iPad was called. <laughs> so I'm, yes. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not a great... <laughs> Don't worry, I'll do some if, more research. <laughs> but if you, re Jim, if the host renames, yeah. so you, if Jim was to rename desktop's iPad to and your name would that stay no it's only for the meeting no, no. it's only, only for that name meeting. For the meeting oh, so okay. i can't change anything on your you you would be pleased to know i can't change anything that's a setting on your device <laughs> i'm just changing the way you appear on the yeah. screen for for, okay. for, the, for this meeting i'll look into there's, it there's Please probably to... something on the settings isn't it it is yeah it is yeah, but keith you're you were you saying something keith. you're muted keith hold on a moment Can you unmute, Keith? I'm muted now. Yeah, yeah, here you are now, yeah. Um, just on my thumbnail in the corner, there's the three dots. I went on that and renamed myself just now. So okay. So, okay. but you have to, you have to run the cursor over it to find those three dots in the corner, which is why I've just muted or unmuted myself. I don't know which I've done there. <laughs> Did you do that? That's brilliant. This is. I've managed different. to rename myself as well, as you can see. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. I haven't got three dots anywhere on my bit. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> 
I was just uh, going to rename myself iPads. Just to <laughs> <laughs> be like everyone else. Yeah. So, Hillary, one of the things you want to say to me. Ian, you have to cover on I your put, own I picture. Put you in a second, Hillary. Just while we're on to renaming people, right. one of the things I also do is if there are people who are going to take part, like lead prayer or do readings and things, I rename them to put an AA in front of their name so that when I bring up the participant list, their names are at the top. So I don't have to scroll all the way down looking for the name in the middle so that uh, the people you know you're going to want to unmute, you can unmute and remute very easily because they'll be at the top of your, the top of your list. Um, desktop's iPad has managed to poke my eye out several times. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, always, it's always interesting when people are on their tablet that you feel you're being poked at when you're <laughs> looking at the screen. <laughs> Right, I'll look into it. Right, right Hilary, you were saying? I, I've got the three dots, but is it under meeting settings that I change my name? I can't see it. In the, I tried that. I've got, was it, I've got I chat, meeting settings, raise and disconnect audio. I think it's meeting settings. Yeah, look under meeting settings and see if it's there. The thing Are you on the look at in your little picture, Hilary? The three dots? No, it's not there. Sorry, it's the three dots in your picture. So if you yeah. go to your face, oh, yeah, look, I can... three little dots in the corner of your picture, and then it which says which, which corner? The top right. Oh no, no I, it just be care, just have a care because the problem is just because it's in your top right doesn't mean it's on, I mean, it's on everybody's. Because right, no. all the this is one of the frustrations I find is that all the devices mm. are different, <laughs> so. Hillary, I can't find it. Hillary, are you, are you on? Are you on gallery view? I can't. I can't hear you, Yvonne. I'm sorry. Sorry. Are you on gallery uh, view? So can you see yes. everybody's face? Well, I can see nine. Okay, so if you hover or move onto your own little face, yes, there's three little dots that have appeared when I hover over mine. Ooh. No, there isn't. No, no, no. 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 Yeah, that's a, that's okay. a PC feature, I think. That's the. the, the, the oh, right. feature. I'll find yeah. out how to do it on an iPad and let people okay. know. We'll send an email out after. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I've, oh. I've lost myself. I can't see my picture anymore. I put hide myself and now I can't find myself to reconnect myself. I've done the same. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can still see you. <laughs> You can see me. Okay, I can't see myself. Where am I? Oh, Nigel, we can see you. Oh. Yeah, and I can see you, Nigel, but I can't see us. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't see me anymore. Yeah. And I, and I can't click on it because I can't see it to... Click on, no. Click on. Oh, well, you've probably got... You've got the wrong... Are you, have you changed to speak of you? Or have you... Oh, maybe, maybe it's on... Uh, <laughs> are you back? No. no, you're still looking puzzled. We can see oh. you looking puzzled, Nigel. Exactly. You've got a real disadvantage here. We I can just see. Clicked, <laughs> I just clicked <laughs> on, on your. Uh, I just clicked on Nigel's dots, and it and it said show show picture or something. Let me just check again. <laughs> uh, I click. Oh, it doesn't say it on there now. One thing you do, we'll change it for Nigel. I just just to, just to say yeah, but yeah, yeah. Because I clicked on Nigel's and found where I've where it said restore self view or, or words to that effect clicked on it and, and we came back on right. uh, so if Nigel tries that on somebody else's it might bring him back on so self view okay ah there we go thank you so you click on somebody else to come back well, yeah that's what I did yeah <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay. Okay. So there's always there's always some other some other thing to learn about, isn't there? <laughs> um, um, but you know, are there any? So for my point of view, it's something that's 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 quite workable. You you just need to think about how you going to how you going to run the meeting. I think the other topic that's come up is people who dial in. So if you've got people who aren't on any, uh, aren't happy to come online, they can dial into the meeting using the uh, dial-in numbers that Zoom provides. 
Um, obviously, then you can't see them. And in terms oh. of... Oh, oh somebody oh. said something. Oh. What? Oh. oh, yes. <laughs> no dialing numbers. Here. Yeah, the dialing numbers, yeah. Yeah. I, I would recommend taking off the plus four four at the front because it might and putting changing those to zero because the people who don't use tablets tend not to recognize international format dialing numbers either. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so uh, on, on our website, I, I changed, changed the way that they're provided because they come from Zoom with international dialing codes on. So if you just replace the plus four four with a zero, that will be a number that people will then recognize. Jim, the other problem I had to start with is it automatically goes to an American dialing numbers for me and I have to change it every time to English or to UK. Otherwise, uh, I end up with the American dialing numbers. So there is a way of changing that in your own account settings. So I, I did it once and it no longer happens to me and it took me a moment or two to find it, but I can't, I, I can't remember where it is of hand, but there is a place in the account settings if you if you're struggling to find it i'll have a look again nigel but i i had exactly the same problem but did find a setting that means that mine now come up with uk numbers as default um just so if you have somebody who's dialed in then if as long as they haven't got number withheld you can see their phone number on the screen so in the as we are with the with the miniatures if you like with the thumbnails you get a phone number instead so that's quite comforting in knowing who it is that's that's dialed in and you know i always make sure where we've got someone dialed in that you speak to them and make sure you understand who's on the other end who's on the uh, end of the phone just it, if it's anything delicate that you're wanting to talk about so when, when i've uh, when i've chaired a meeting um and somebody's dialed in or they don't we don't see their image because they're not on video for some reason i struggle then because i'm i'm looking for people to put their hand up if they want to say something because i've muted everybody usually um and that's difficult because i so i then have to keep on going to the people that i can't see to check if they've got anything to say it's really, it's, really, it's, it, it's really difficult and um, you almost need to, you, you almost need them to, to, to be able to chair effectively, you almost need them to have somebody that they're in, that they're in contact with that they can say if you want to say anything, <laughs> get somebody else to wave their arm and tell you that's the case because uh, I mean I've had the other thing I've found is I've had people WhatsApping me when you're running a service, and I've told them that I'm not looking at WhatsApp. I'm uh, I can't I can't uh, WhatsApp and speak and manage the Zoom meeting all at the same time. If I was female, I might be able to, but um, I, um, I certainly can't do all those things at at, at once. So um, yeah, it is really difficult, isn't it? And there's no e I don't think there's an easy way around it other than uh, just agreeing some. To private protocol for, for managing it. Hillary. Is there any way I can only ever see nine people on my iPad? Is there any way of you know being able to see everybody who we I know there are more than nine people live, obviously. I can hear the voices and I know you who can they scroll are. Over. You can scroll to the next window on, I think. Try scrolling yes, your screen to the can. right or left. You <laughs> Hello, everybody! <laughs> Yay! So, the iPad supports nine, the PC supports 25, and I discovered the other day that my, I was, I was used the larger screen on Sunday so I could see more than 25 people, and still couldn't, and discovered you had to have at least an i7 processor, for those whom that means anything, <laughs> in order to be able to see more than 25 people. So just having a bigger screen didn't fix it. You have to have enough processing power, uh, but on an iPad it's limited to nine. On an Android tablet it's limited to four at once. So that's a that's a, a restriction that you can't do much about. Um, another thing that you can do, which Neil could perhaps do for us, is highlight a particular video. Highlight somebody. Could I? <laughs> yeah. So if, you, if you go and do, go on those right dots. Yeah. Again, 
you have, you can take someone and highlight them. Oh. 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 And that means that oh. it, whether they like, whether they like it or not, <laughs> as long as they're highlighted, they're going to stay as the big picture in in the screen. So if you've got somebody who's presenting, you can have it so that they're talking and people are going to see that, and the, and the view isn't going to keep getting changed by uh, somebody else starting to talk or whatever. So that's quite a useful facility as well. I have to say it's a really useful facility on my family Zoom call that we did on Sunday because I can stop the grandchildren constantly interrupting whatever else is, is happening. If someone else is trying to show you something, um, it means that, uh, <coughs> that when it, <laughs> this, the, the person you're trying to look at stays in focus until you move it. Time to move it now, Neil, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have moved it. <laughs> <Having fun. laughs> So have you all gone back to gallery view? Not yet. No. Not yet. No. You I have had to do that manually now yourself. If you click back on gallery view. That's it. That's how you do it. That's it. I, I ah. clicked off spotlight video. <laughs> Is everyone back to normal? Yeah. 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 No. No one's back to normal. <laughs> 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 Normal, that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> the new normal. The new normal. Jim, yeah. um, if we had, if you had something like thirty to forty people, would you entertain it or not? What for a business meeting? Yeah. As I say, I think it's fine, but you just got to accept that you that you're going to have to be ever so structured and organised. So, you know, this is what we're. It, it's. I think you'd have to ha have identified fairly well how the topic was going to be presented. Be be careful about asking people, you know, one or two people of particular views to speak about it. If there's, if there's anything different, you've just got to chair it very strongly because you can't manage somebody chipping in and somebody chipping in and saying something else very easily. It's just, mm -hmm. you just end up with... The focus just mayhem, yeah. may, mayhem with, with it. So you just you've got you you have to sort of say, okay, you speak. Is, is there a different point to be made? And um, uh, yeah, okay, you'll be next, and then come to that point and and be prepared to sort of bring the matter to a close if necessary with a poll fairly fairly quickly. I would say, and if it's clear that you're not at that point, then have to think about how are we going to get going to get a small group to talk about it and bring us back to a place where we can we can bring it back to the full meeting again. I don't think there's really. I think the full chance meeting can agree things. I don't think the full meeting can discuss things very well. Right. Okay. That's a fair. It, would people agree with that? Mm. Yeah, we, we've um, when we've had meetings, although it's been smaller numbers, um, we've been able to go around and get people's views so that we could get a bit of a sharing of views. And then, as I say, I try to watch out for people's hands and then go to them to get another view. So that's how we've we've done it. I think I would I, I've been doing church on Sunday and we last week we had 36 screens um, and I think I would struggle with that with trying to get people to indicate because I couldn't see them all. Exactly. I think as long as I can see the 25 screens, I'm probably okay. But beyond that, I think it would be quite difficult to, to get people to be able to contribute. Yeah. 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 But you can ask people, but you, this then does get more challenging for the people. So I've been trying to get people into the, using the chat and set, because, you can go to the menu and you can chat and you can send a message. Yeah. So that if somebody wants to say something that they can send you a chat message to say, I want to say something. And that comes in as sort of, you've then got that in your message queue and you can see who sent you messages and respond to them without needing to see their faces. So uh, chat is quite a good way of being able to. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Nigel. <laughs> I don't really want to say anything, but I don't know. If <laughs> yeah. yeah, so so 
that they can send that just to the chair yeah so that you can see those things coming up and that's a really easy way of people indicating that they actually want to speak on this subject that doesn't depend on you spotting them waving their hands in the air which uh, you would find very difficult to do with a big group mm. can, can, I ask about, yes. can i ask about um <laughs> when you set it up it says one or two screens um if you click on the two screens, does that give you, I'm sure it can't give you 50 people, but what is the advantage of two screens over one as far as the setup's concerned? <coughs> I haven't tried it. So that's the first thing to say. Right. So people tell me that the advantage is that you can still see, you can be controlling stuff and effectively have the control things on your, your one screen and that still be able to see the people on the other. So in a way, you've, you've yeah. split the mm. fun functionality. Well, um, we, we, we've used um, two screens, but not with that enabled. And it may, makes it easier to share a screen because you can queue up what you want. For instance, on Friday, I've got some words for a song um, on uh, my ordinary web browser from YouTube and uh, was able to then, having got it, to share it. And I could, at the same time could see everybody and wasn't lo losing uh, contact. Yeah, yeah. But so that's, that, that's not with the two, the, the second screen I'm talking about now. So. You're, you're talking about using two machines, two computers? No, no, I've got two screens here. Oh, right. okay. So you yeah. just had the desktop, you'd extended your desktop. So you'd got Zoom running on one part of the desktop and your other application. Well, running. that's in effect, yes, yes. On the other part yeah. of the desktop. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I have to say, I've found it easier. Cause I, I choose to put the sort of content flow into a PowerPoint for services on mm. a Sunday, including sort of videos of the songs and that sort of thing. But I do that from a separate um, computer. In fact, my wife sits next to me and uh, and drives the PowerPoint. And then when I'm preaching, stop the PowerPoint and move. But I find it easier to keep it separate, to have the PowerPoint being shared from a different PC than the one that you're controlling the meeting for me stops you getting uh, the control windows uh, coming up and so on but that's just that's just our preference really. I, I found it difficult when um, we did messy church for instance yesterday and if I can't see everybody it's quite difficult if I'm sharing a screen and and doing we, we did the the whiteboard thing yeah come, and we, we did that for prayers yesterday but then I couldn't see the people in their individual windows because we had the whiteboard up, uh, and that was difficult. Sorry, I even know. Could you could you talk amongst yourself a minute while I shut this phone up? Just hold on. <laughs> so, are there any other questions or, or, or comments that people want to ask? No, very uh, helpful. Does anybody actually run a online meeting? No. no. <laughs> Will people be trying to run online meetings soon? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying a Zoom coffee morning tomorrow morning. So that, that'll be a little experiment with, I think we've actually got nine participants. So it might get a little, but if one or two don't turn up, that, that should be perfect numbers. So uh, yeah. um, We'll see how that goes, but at the moment I'm just using Facebook uh, mainly for, uh, for actually set, doing services. Yeah. Mm. Ruth and Tony, you, you've done an online meeting, have you? How yes. yes. Well, uh, we had um, last Friday, we, we had a, uh, we, we called it a tea party and it was to celebrate VE Day and that was on Zoom. We've been using Skype other than that. And last night we had a members meeting on Skype. Was it last night? Two days ago, Tuesday night, had a, a, a meeting on Skype. And one of the members said, why don't we use Zoom? It was better. So I was pleased about that because I think it's better. And it's so better. from this Sunday, hopefully we'll be on Zoom. We have, um, we have live worship. We, we just have our live meeting. Um, and we tried, we, we simplified what we do a little bit, um, but then we have 
like a a normal meeting somebody will um say we'll we'll take charge of the prayers we have somebody on with the worship for playing keyboard or a little group that we have and they play guitar and sing uh and one of us will give a, sh a short message um the children show us what they've been making and hold hold things up to show us and uh the idea was to to maybe have half an hour because it's really quite tiring it, mm. it seems to be but in actual fact we um they last about an hour show it show what's it. this so what the children have been making in your hand so this is some this is something that tony's been making <laughs> 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 in his workshop. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> what do you think that is, everybody? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. We made uh, uh, robots <laughs> yesterday in messy church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not, you look like this, <laughs> this is a piece of model engineering, and it's going to go in a loco railway engine. Uh -huh. it's, it's the pipe work that causes the steam to blow out of the funnel. Yeah. Right. Never mind. Uh -huh. You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move <Okay>. on. <laughs> Hilary, did you want to say something? I was just going to say that we've moved to Zoom for our fellowship because that's what we were missing. So tonight we're just having coffee and chat. So we're all just meeting at a half past seven with coffee and having a good old chat. On V Day, we had a quiz and that was great fun. Um, so we're sort of trying to pick up the, 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 the just sitting and having an inconsequential chat about things just to keep us bonded as a fellowship. We've moved that and that's working you know, quite well. We do have a lot of elderly people, of course, who cannot use um any sort of technology i'm married to one of them um <laughs> but uh, it, it is working well he doesn't need to then no no, no. he's a <laughs> trained buff too so he'd probably like mr leeming <laughs> who's mr leeming that's you sir <laughs> <laughs> i don't know your first name i'm awfully sorry it's tony <laughs> just call me oh. beardy as i'm on there <laughs> right, my, husband's, my husband's Tony. <laughs> okay.